Hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm a twin flame from Chicago, Illinois in the United States. I'm here to talk to you in more detail about the emergence of your inner light body, your third etheric body, and that with your outer, so the inner and the outer meeting each other, merging, some of the physical sensations and actual, uh, possibly the uh, things that are coming up that look like afflictions, infections, inflammations, etc., etc. We're going to talk about that, and we're going to talk uh, in some detail, section by section, on the body as to uh, what you either are experiencing currently or will experience as you continue ascending here. Now, uh, I wanted to also clarify for you that a lot of us twins, uh, whether or not your level of awareness and getting the details, are reconnecting to source. And you've made all your connections from the third, you're, we're living in the fourth now, to the 5D. You're, cre you're getting your co-creative energy ready for the sixth. Seventh is sort of open right now. Eighth and ninth is where we are able to live in form. But I want to clarify for you some of the uh, distinctions that you're feeling and sensing with some of this. And actually how each gender can perceive it somewhat differently. Now, uh, for those of us, particularly illumined twin flames who originated from source, from the original spark, we come all the way and experienced in the third dimension, which got very painful, very heavy for us, very dense. And we've done this in several third dimensional planes of existence, which frequently means other planets, this planet, other planets. Now, what we're doing here is uh, just this past weekend, a little bit before this, is uh, connecting to the feminine, the divine feminine from source, pulling it into our physical forms through our chakras. And a lot of us did pass through these sections of dimensions and uh, some of you have reported to me that you saw something that looked like a dark cloud, a black cloud, a storm, um, or red colors tinged with black, the black of the womb, the wonderful, warm, velvety, deep black of the womb. And what that is, is that is the lowest octave of the masculine energies, which sort of provides a vibrational, um, not really a barrier, but more like a, uh, something similar to a membrane that we pass through so that people who have maintained their consciousness and are consciously aware that they're making these connections in different ways. So in other words, if you're someone that can no longer meditate and you're aware of sort of you have to pass through, you pass through and you start to see things. You see things in a different way. You feel, you pick up all kinds of impressions. You see futuristic events. You get your guidance. And what that was, was you were passing through the Ophanic cloud, the Ophanin, which is a type of angelic that is um, not currently experiencing in form, like some of us are, and making your connection to the 10th and now the 12th level of universal energies. And once you come back down, so once we left Source and we were sort of in these universal energies, once we pass through, in the ninth dimension is where we live in form, in our oneness. We live in, in one. Beyond that is when we separate into gender forms. Okay? When you get to the third and fourth, this is where a lot of the trouble spots are for the men 
and women because we are angelics that have all types of angelics that have all these experiences that we've gone through. So what are we going to focus on now? We're going to focus on how the physicality of this is enabling you to really get back to and connect to source and become who you came here to be. Because most of you have an agreement not only to bring something to the table, you have an agreement to become entirely new. And in some ways, this decision was made collectively at these levels. It was your soul's decision at this level to do this. So regardless of what your divine counterpart or twin may be saying to you, if the decisions are made, you're, you're pretty much going to continue. So my suggestion to you is decide that you want to go with the flow here because it's very important to trust. It's very important to continue to have faith, faith in all things seen and unseen, but mostly the unseen parts. And I'm going to tell you some ways that you'll be able to really go with the feelings and trust and trust that you have a huge amount of unseen help here that is helping you. Okay, so what are we going to do with these diagrams here that I have? Well, I want to point out to you that as we pull in these energies, your, your own body has received these sensations of what I will call your, I'm using the name that my guides gave me, but it's a distinct sensation. This is your royal crown chakra. Illumined Twin Flames most definitely have this getting prepared and ready. And other people are here to receive this. What is this? This is actually you aligning with the cardinal cross of the feminine energies. So you have the fire, the air, the water, and the earth. This is the cardinal cross of energies. And you've connected to yourself this cardinal cross for a lot of people in 12 paradigms. You've connected each feminine. So this is 4 times 12. That's 48 times that you've pretty much solidified into your royal crown chakra. And this is indicated by the um, Lilith, is what it's called here, the Shekinah the Magdalene. Okay. I'm sorry. And you have the mother. Ether. Okay. Now a lot of you who might be into astrology, you'll hear things like, oh, Venus is going retrograde and there's a big cardinal cross at this point. Now what this means for Twin Flame is that as you're passing through a portal of energy, it's your opportunity to connect with this cardinal cross. In other words, 
it's all coming together for you right now. And the feminine energy, when she retrogrades, is standing there saying, Hello, dear. It's mom. I would like to know if you'd like to receive this. If you do, stay still this weekend and give me some time to set it into place and put it into your chakra and help you connect it. That's where the trust comes in. The trust and the faith that our eternal divine mother represented with all these energies because this is mother in all her wonderful aspects and she's here to love you. She's here to give you the mother love that maybe you didn't receive or maybe you haven't felt it in so long. Maybe your mother passed on. Maybe your mother is far away. Maybe your mother and you have, you know, had some friction, but you, you still would really like to have a, a mother connection. That's your divine mother right there helping you feel loved and connected. And this is uh, only a part of feeling the love because this is the mother aspect. We are also, and it's the mother aspect at the universal level, the universal mother. So at the other levels, you do have, uh, you'll hear different names for this. Um, there's other uh, cosmic forces uh, represented as planets in astrology that do pull the feminine energy because along with the feminine energy, the mother, you do also have the um, sacred sexual, you have other aspects of the feminine. And this is helping you to integrate it all so that why? So that in your twin union with your twin, you can feel loved and supported in every way that you've been seeking on the outside. You haven't had to find that nice lady at the office who always makes the coffee and is so motherly and, you know, listens to you and lends us a shoulder every time you need to cry. It's lovely to have that person in your life, but it's absolutely divine to have that housed within your twin. And that's where we're getting to, is to have all things within your twin. And we're going to explore right now I'm going to explore for you right now what it is where these connections connect to. Okay? Let's just fix this up here so you can see it better. Okay. Now, I have um, asked my nice friend, because I'm not an artist, to provide me with some uh, pictures of a foot. And what we're going to talk about with these feet is part of what's really important. And for some people, they may say, it's my feet. You know, who cares about feet? Well, guess what? Every single part of you is important. So um, this represents the, uh, let's see, this is the feminine foot. And this is the masculine. So the left side of your body is feminine. The right side is masculine for the most part, and for this illustration. You will find as you go along that even that will have nuances to it that are unique to you. Now, on your feminine foot, you do have chakras. So you have a chakra here, right at the metatarsals. And you'll have one at the ankle that 
this is your connection to the 5D new Earth star. So you've got a connection right here that is connecting you to the Earth star. Okay? And a lot of people are feeling these parts light up or sometimes the sensation uh, actually feels like a pop. The sensation can feel like um, someone stepping on your toe or you'll feel a vibration there or it'll feel like tingly toes or something like this. And when you feel this, um, my suggestion to you is get still. If you can lay down, lay down. Allow it. What I like to pretend to do is pretend there's a flower there, blossoming and opening up, receiving. Because in some ways, think of it as the light of the sun because it's the light from the earth star. It's earth star. It's lighting you up within. You also have a grounding at your heel. You have on your heel. I'm sorry. Uh, you have grounding also to the, um, let's see, how do I say this? Because there's, there's no vocabulary for some of this. This is um, to ground you t also to the new earth. Okay. A lot of you have a connection here that you're feeling. Sometimes this feels like something right above your ankle or at the ankle level. And what this is, this is to your knee and is your a part of your mobility chakra, your movement. You know, so you're walking and you're moving. So you have uh, several connections here just in your feet alone. And I'm going to tell you right now that do not let the size fool you. Size here means nothing because these are huge connections for your light body and your connections to the universe because within this is not only how you get around in 5D by walking, you can still use your feet, you can levitate, you know, a little bit off the ground in 5D. You can't do it here. This planet, the electromagnetics of this planet are just too dense and that's not where we're doing it here. What you're doing here is you're preparing, all right? And you'll have some amazing sensations with this once you clear it out. Uh, what are some of the things that you can do to assist yourself? The main thing that you can do is walk every day. Um, 20, 30 minutes is ideal. 20 minutes minimum if you can. Walk, walk outside in nature. Nature is preferable. If your walk is simply from point A to point B, Try to get in as much walking as you can because what you'll find is that a lot of your chakras that are being blasted open, while they're being blasted open, they're simultaneously receiving universal energies into them. And it's like the transformer on a little train. You, you have to help regulate how much power goes into that. You can't just sit there and say, oh, my feet hurt and I can't go. Really be discerning and say to yourself, you know, when I walk, does it seem to ease up? Because that should be the way of it for most of you. By walking, it should um, ease up and little by little, you will adjust to this. It is very intense and painful for a lot of people, particularly for people who've had damage to the feet. 
you'll find that the damage to your feet is actually needing to be healed simultaneously to how you're receiving. You're receiving healing energies, but still treat yourself with whatever works in terms of a combination of uh, holistic medication, treatment, reflexology. It could be um, oils, ointments. A lot of people will experience fungal infections here because a lot has happened to the nerves. There's been nerve damage from lifetimes of trekking, walking, being hunter-gatherers everywhere, having to walk places. We've had frostbite. There's been neuropathy from medical treatments or alcoholism or drug abuse. Um, there is just a lot that is occurring with the feet. Now, on the uh, masculine foot, and I'm referring to my notes here because I, I am writing this down. It's going to be in written form. But I think a visual is a really good way to convey information. Um, when I used to do corporate training and when I do sessions for people, they, you know, picture speaks a thousand words. Um, so I do want to let you know that it, there's, there's stuff coming out, but there's a lot of ground to cover here. And... I want to give you a general overview. Now, on the um, masculine foot, you're going to have a connection here at the ball of the foot, and usually closer to the big toe, which actually is connected to the knee also. Okay, so right there you're seeing some differences between the masculine and the feminine feet, the right and left parts of your body. So that's a big part of this ascension is that there's masculine parts of you getting wired up and ready to go, and your feminine parts are getting ready and wired up and ready to go. And it's not dictated by the actual gender body that you have here in this life. It's actually um, your inner body merging with your outer bodies, your two outer bodies, your inner third and your outer two, your outer, and this is working to form your universal Merkaba, Merkaba. Okay, so what else do we have here? We have the top of the foot, and we have another grounding here. Now the difference is, in the grounding is, where are you grounded to, okay? Because you're grounding uh, something that is connected to the earth here, and here your masculine is grounding you to the universe. Okay, so for those of you who are saying, you know, this isn't happening, uh, it's, I'm not understanding, you know, these sensations, this is giving you a really good overview of what these sensations are and how they translate. Now, there's, there's other connections because, as I was telling you, here's your head, here's your royal crown chakra, okay, I'm not an artist, but I'm going to let you know that there's also a chakra right here at the ends of your toes, all your toes, and this is connected to these feminine energies. And this seems to particularly um, bother people that are carriers of the divine feminine energy. They will have a lot of toe problems. They'll have problems with their nails, the nail bed, um, a lot of fungal infections, inflammations, things that seem to linger, as well as other painful conditions. And it's important to make sure that you treat yourself. This is not intended to be anything other than an overview of ascension, more detailed ascension symptoms, and to let you know that you are adjusting and you're getting used to your new bodies. You're getting, all of this is going to bring you to a place where 
you are actually used to your new bodies. Now, how do these, how does this show up to you? You say, how will I know when this is finished? Well, first of all, you'll know because you'll feel it. It'll, it will feel finished. You'll feel the feeling of completion or I'm done with that task or that part is done. You may even blurt it out and say, well, I'm done with that or that's done or I'm also done with that. The other ways that you feel it, particularly if you're in your home point, if you're in the grid point where you agree to be with your twin, regardless of whether or not they're with you, you will feel as if your feet can levitate you. It's a fabulous feeling. If, you, if it's near water and you go into the water, you will feel such a delightful feeling as if your feet themselves really want to just light up with a million rainbows and stars. And you'll feel an expansion. You're actually expanding out into your home point. And this is enabling you to anchor there. So where are these points? If you look at a top view of the foot, you have on the feminine foot, you'll have the um, parts here. You'll have a part here. You'll have some parts here. You'll have it all across the metatarsals. And you'll have it, um, this is by the ball of the foot. And you'll have some right in front of the heel. And of course, the heel. And this heel pain is not very pleasant. The heel pain frequently feels like a rod is being forced through your foot into the ground. And energetically, it's almost as if there is an energetic anchoring to um, keep you grounded. And, and it's actually intended to support you to hold you and keep you grounded in your home point. And you will be able to encounter your twin um, if your twin is not living in the place where you live, and but you're both here and you're both gonna do this, they will at some point make the moves. And for right now, it may not be immediate. Uh, there are those of us who have agreed to stay put and to set up the first um, grid point so that we can pull the love from source and anchor it here. I want to let you know that even though we're talking about feet and only a certain percentage of people will find feet sexy. You know, for a lot of people, they just get us around and there are people who have uh, lost parts of themselves due to illness, um, accidents, uh, you're still encouraged to move because movement is what circulates the energies and emerges your bodies, merges them together and helps you be grounded. So if you're in a wheelchair, move. If you are uh, on crutches, move. It can be any kind of movement, and in particular, where you're touching some part of an element here. Go swimming, uh, go to a beach, go to, um, you know, a nature uh, forest preserve or something like this. Whatever you can do to help yourself, and the, the universe will form itself around you. All you need to do is trust and take a little baby step forward and say, I, I, I will, I'll, I'll meet the universe and you can do 3% and the universe will do the other 97% to form itself around you because your intention is to love yourself and to be in love. And that is another key here is that for a lot of us, uh, twin flames, particularly the Illumin Twin Flames, our lives have been uh, really erratic, painful. We sometimes don't feel like we belong. Your angelic parts are popping up and they want to scream sometimes. 
as you blow through these layers of pain, uh, experiences, distortions, twistiness, uh, things that have been perpetrated on you, parts of you will scream. You will feel the inner screaming and, and you'll just be inside going, ah, 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 ah. it'll pass, it'll pass, go with it. If you need to go outside and go someplace and scream it out, do it for yourself. Don't stifle it. Don't stuff it back in. Um, this is not intended for you to be in pain forever. This is transient. You are transiting to your new place, to the new place where we live, to a place that has all new for us, new creations. And you're actually receiving back or reactivating parts of yourself that were deactivated eons ago. So please know that this is here and you know there's more. There's more that I'm going to cover and just your feet alone are able to help you ground universal energies. Isn't that fabulous? The design of the new is absolutely amazing and I think that as you go through things you will agree that there is there's the divine feminine is efficient and it's it's so creative and she loves us so much that this is being made available to anyone who wants to avail themselves nobody's excluded anyone who chose to incarnate here made the choice to pretty much heal and receive the new even if you forgot so love yourself Walk every day, take good care of your feet, um, take yourself to, you know, enjoy nature and do what you feel is necessary. If you don't know, make sure that you ask and ask for help. And thank you so much for listening. This is um, conclusion on the feet. Thank you.